What's going on guys? It's Shiv. I'm back here with another video for you guys today. So yeah, today um, I'm just going to be following up more about the token market, tell, give you guys some tips on how you guys can make tokens. Um, if you guys already got tokens and you guys want to make MT, just like giving you tips on how you can take advantage of this token market update, all that. Um, but yeah, first off, we got this triple threat vault update if you guys don't know. So we just got four different opals, so if you guys want some new opals on your team, some of these opals are pretty good. I'd say like that Rudy LaRusso is probably the best. 5k MT 10 tokens. So you guys can play some triple threat offline. But yeah, going now back to this token market update. So as you guys know, we did get these packs in the token market. So basically you have to spend like 1,000 tokens to open up um, those packs. These, the rest of these packs are pretty trash, honestly. These legacy packs, these random spotlight packs, like the, for all those different spotlight challenges we had earlier in the year. So yeah, they're not good, but these are like the main packs that people want to be opening. So I know people are going up to 1,000 tokens and just ripping one pack. So honestly, you could do that if, let's say you really want like Lamelo, let's say you really want Kawhi or Lamar or like James Wiseman or Char Lewis. Like if you want to compete that Kareem set to get with Char Lewis, I know a lot of people are getting Kareem now. I feel like so many people are going to have Kareem now because um, of this token market update. But even if you want to complete that next sec next set, pause for Wiseman, if you want to get that Giannis, basically any one of these, like you guys can spend your tokens. I like, obviously I, I haven't spent any yet. I'm probably going to hold off. I might just open one stream tonight just for the content to be honest um i don't know we'll see but yeah basically we're gonna see a token market update maybe later this week in terms of players so we already got the pack update but they always do with players also so we might get some new opals in here we might get go cards i don't know but basically what you want to do is I'm, I'm saying is save up your tokens gather as many tokens as you can so that you can be ready for anything to be honest like so let's say you already have like a thousand tokens and you're unsure if you want to open these packs or if you want to buy a player what i would say is wait for the update figure it out like let's say do you want DeRozan first of all like DeRozan's probably one of the best ones that you guys can get right now uh, maybe even pet it if you wanted he's probably another good one yeah DeRozan is honestly the one I would recommend so do you want DeRozan if not maybe pull one of these packs if you got 1k like this one's probably the most worth it Wiseman, Richard Lewis, or Giannis like yeah this is definitely the best pack that you guys could pull so yeah these are just the different things that you guys can do but I would say wait I'm gonna be waiting with like probably 3k tokens after I rip one of these packs I'll probably rip this pack later in stream today um but yeah i'm gonna be waiting guys save up your tokens for now and i'm gonna tell you guys right now in different ways that you guys can make tokens uh let's see did i get outbid on something right here all right i'm just trying to get some centers real quick but yeah going back here guys what you guys want to do is basically start completing some of these sets that's the best way to make these tokens other than triple threat offline online i'm sorry triple threat online obviously play some triple threat online you can make tokens real quick but other than that if you go to these sets right here the flash sets are honestly your best bet flash this one 200 tokens this one 200 tokens all of them have 200 i think flash 2 is just 100 yeah and then flash pack 4 is 125 yeah so flash pack flash pack 2 um i would say complete this as, as soon as possible it's a really cheap one you get a free 100 tokens that gives you one tenth of the way there to a thousand if you guys are trying to do that um this one these legacy ones these give you 200 but bill wallen's still pretty expensive so i don't know if i would recommend it for you guys to do this the rest of the cards are pretty cheap oh whoa it looks like bernard king is he all right so he's going for like 50k wow all right so his price went up a little bit so yeah basically i would say complete some of these flash sets these prime sets obviously you don't get anything from those some of these there might be worth it it's only 75 they're not that expensive either you could do it if you wanted to like this jeremy lynn one uh maybe even the jason kidd one they're not too expensive you could do them I, if you got the mt i wouldn't say it's a bad idea to complete these for some nice mt even i might do it just to get a quick like 150 or something if i complete both of these but yeah these flashback and this one this andre kirlenko his price did go up a little bit um just because people are trying to lock this in for 125 and it is a cheaper one if you get john wall the rest of these guys for a little bit of a cheaper price um this fan favorites one is not bad too even i might even complete this to be honest because i have that center enable filter I don't know if I want to sell back these cards, but then all I have to do is buy Caruso and the rest of those cards, which is honestly not even that much money. I just got to buy Scalabrini, Manu Bowl, who are not expensive cards. So fan favorites, um, these fan favorites one can get you like 200 tokens as well. Fan favorites two also, like these are all the main ones, um, flash pack eight. And then also you guys can do is if you guys got empty, like let's just say you got a bunch of empty, you're trying to get those empty into tokens without really having to play a lot. Do some of these heat check ones. You get 25 for each one of them. I've not done any of them. Even this NBA current series two, I haven't done any of these. You get 20 tokens from these. If you complete, let's see, all of these heat check, quick maths right here, 25 times 30. So we'll get 750 tokens right there. And then 20 times 30 right here. So that's 600 tokens. And then another 600 from doing the current NBA series. I've already done the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. So what is that? 600 plus 600 plus 750. Quick maths, 1950. So you can get 2000 tokens literally just from completing these three. 
it probably costs around a million MT to co complete all of these three if I can that's just my estimate I think it's around a million so technically I could complete it if I wanted to and that'll give me another like almost 2,000 tokens but I'm not really doing that right now so I'm just saying if you guys got empty you got a lot of empty to spare you want some tokens this would be like one of the best ways I completed two of these Western Conference ones so that's not bad um, I might complete some of the other ones so I just want a little bit more tokens we'll see though we'll see um, but yeah these are like the best sets guys to complete um, yeah like that's in terms of tokens guys so now like in terms of making MT off of this guys like going into like the next part of this video kind of if you guys want to make MT off of this if you guys got some of these flash players like for example let's say you had this where where is he let's say you had this AK before this before the crash just happened before the token sorry the token market just update just came out he was going for like 70k 60k you could have picked him up for that cheap and now is he even a buy now anymore I last night I saw some for like 90k 95k see he's not even a buy now anymore okay so there's one there's one on the market right now that's probably gonna get bought soon but someone's really bidding on him for 117k as you guys can see right here another good example would be um, like uh, this Clay Thompson for example he's getting close to a buy now he's going for like 160 now people are really bringing up the prices of these I heard someone sold a Yao where is he a Yao for 400 yesterday all right he's going up to 200 before the market um before the token market update he was almost close to a buy now around 100k so i think just for temporarily these guys will be a bit higher so if you guys are trying to complete some of these sets i would say wait either a couple days if they don't update the players in the market or wait till next week um because once you complete these sets then you'll be able to get some of these token market and these packs don't expire guys so there's no rush to spend your thousand tokens on these there's literally no rush that's why like i have 4k i could literally open one of each of these but I, there's no rush to it so i'm just holding off on it for now waiting for those players waiting to see what 2k does but yeah basically these flash players if you guys got them i would say sell them right now even these fan favorites to be honest like they are they are a little bit higher in price i think i picked up this but yeah see bull bull damage oh this is an evo one he's going so if you guys got an evo one you can sell that too but bull bull's price went up a little bit i think i'd took a little bit of an l on that but it's fine to be honest taco's price went up a little bit too michael porter jr let's see what his price is now so he's about 100k too so yeah, basically just sell any of these players that lock in for tokens you guys can make some mt off of that for sure um especially on some of these flash players but yeah those are like di different ways to make mt different ways to make tokens guys let me know if you guys got any comments down below on anything like any other ways you guys think are good ways to make tokens let me think these this triple threat if you guys are like close to like let's say like some amount of wins like 575 maybe i could grind that out get a quick 125 tokens or if i really wanted to could grind it all the way to a thousand get another like almost a thousand tokens from just grinding that that's a lot so i don't know if i want to do that but yeah, triple threat offline you guys can make some tokens here and there too like 60 right there 40 you can make a little bit of tokens there too uh domination if you haven't done that honestly it might be a little bit too late in the year to do that but you get a lot of tokens from domination too um that's what i did in the beginning of the year so yeah these are not bad guys those are some like pretty good ways i really got outbid on both of them whatever i'll figure this out later but yeah that's gonna do it for the video guys hope you guys um enjoyed that let me know if you guys got any other comments on how to make tokens how to make mt from this that's just my thoughts guys save up your tokens for now i would say wait for the new token market update um but yeah that's gonna do it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe if you're new as always but yeah that's gonna do it peace